we're going to practice some of our counting. So I'm going to start by counting forwards to 20. Count along with me. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Thank you for counting along with me. I'm going to just fix my number line a little minute. I think it moved. And now we're going to try counting backwards from 20. It can be a little bit tricky counting backwards. Make sure you take your time and if you need your equipment beside you, you can use your 100 square from your maths pack, just like I've got. Let's start. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Well done if you were counting along with me there. This time we're going to count in twos. So I'm going to start at zero. I know if you're using your hundred square, zero isn't there, but we know where zero would be in our number line. So we can still start with the zero. So when I'm counting in twos, I'm going to start and miss a number, move to the next one. And then miss a number, move on to the next one. Miss a number, move on to the next one. See if you can follow along and count along with me. I'm going to start with zero. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Well done if you were following along with that. Now we're going to count in fives and we're going to go all the way up to 50. I'm going to move this number line because my hundred square, you can see it goes up to 100. This is what we're going to use for counting in fives. So again, I can start with my zero. It's not on my hundred square, but I know where zero is. Zero would be here. So I'm going to start with five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. You can keep going. You can use your 100 square and keep going all the way up to 100. I wonder if you noticed a pattern when we were counting in fives. Have a think. What do the numbers end in when we count in fives? There's only two numbers that are the same when we at the end when we are counting in fives. Can you work out what they are? Tell an adult if you have worked it out. Now we're going to count in tens. Here we go. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Well done. You have done really well if you were counting along with me. If you haven't been counting along with me, you've still got that 100 square in your maths packs, so you can do it on your own. Or you can watch this video again and count along with me the next time. I've been using my number line and my 100 square to help me. But what I'd really like you to practice doing is counting forwards and backwards to 20 or 30 or even more without missing out any numbers. Sometimes we found that a little bit tricky when we were in class, when we were counting backwards. Saying it out loud often and repeating it over and over will really help us to remember. Let's have a go again, without a number line this time, of counting up to 20 and back down from 20. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0.
Well done, everyone. The next thing we're going to look at is some of the sheets that are in your packs. You'll have noticed that you're doing some double works this time. So we are adding two numbers the same. So one, add one, is the same. Number one and number one. So if we add one and one, what number does that make? One, 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 two. So we would write our answer on the line. Then we've got two. So if we're adding the same number, we've got two add two. I've got my two dice, two dice. So what does two add two make? One, two, three, four. That makes four. I'm only going to do the next one with you and then you're going to try the rest on your own. Here I've got three, add three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm, I had two, four, six. I wonder if you can work out what counting pattern that is. We have given you a few double sheets that are similar. Have a go of doing these sheets and see how you get on. We need to learn our doubles so that when we ask you when you come back to school, what is four add four? You will be really confident with your answer. Have a go and see how you get on. We've also given you some missing number sheets. You can use your number line or your hundred square if you really need to. Have a go and see if you can count. And if we start at one, what should be on this shirt here? Then we've got three, four, five. Hmm, what should be here? Seven, nine. See if you can work out what the missing numbers are and write them in. You might find that we have put in a few sheets with missing numbers. I know that there is a ladder sheet as well. Have a go and see how you get on. We have added in some different sheets. You might need to cut and stick in this one. So this time we are looking at ways to make the number four. How many different ways can we make four? Here's one hill, here's another hill. How many dinosaurs can we have in a picture to make four? So you might choose to have one dinosaur over here. How many dinosaurs would you need over here? So if I use one on this side, how many would need to go on this side? One, two, three. So I could have one dinosaur and three dinosaurs. Well done. If I move this over or move it up slightly, what about this one? So I've done one add three. I wonder if you can come up with another way for adding dinosaurs. What if I put two dinosaurs over here? What would that be? Four, uh, two and two. One, two, three, four. That would make four. That's one of your activity sheets. This one is similar. It's ways to make five. So here we've got two, add three, makes five. Two here and three here. They're separated with a little line so that we know that there's two on this side and three on this side. See if you can have a go to fill out the other three boxes. And then the same thing down here with a coat hanger and pegs. There's three pegs on this side, two pegs on this side. Three, add two, make five. And again, you've got the hangers here. You need to put on the pegs. Not the same as this one. Can you think of three other ways to make five? Here are more, some more addition facts to five. So we have got to match the apples to the trees. One of them has been done for you. One and zero makes one. Hmm, I wonder what two and two makes. One, two, three, four. I would draw an arrow down to number four or a line down to number four. And another addition sheet is ways to make 10. The first one has been done for you. So this is all about colouring in. There's one, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes being shaded in and one is left blank. Nine coloured and one blank makes ten. And this can be written the same, just the opposite way around. One blank and nine coloured make ten. Can you do something different for the other three examples? So nine and one's been done for you. What else can you do? You can always use your Numicon to help you if you need to. This time, talking about Numicon, we've given you a little challenge. We've got missing numbers. So the answer is five. Remember, this is our equals sign. So my answer is five. I've got my five Numicon here. Hmm, I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. I might move my sheet down a little bit and do it at the top. Here is my five Numicon. It says at the beginning, I've got two add something equals five. So I know it has a two. I've got my two Numicon. I'm going to lie that down on top of my five. You can do this with the Numicon you've got in your maths bags. What shape or what number is missing to make five? Count with me. One, two, three. My three Numicon. You can choose. You can either draw the Numicon shape and colour it in the box or you can write the number. I'll leave it up to you to decide. I'll do another one for you. So the next one we can see the answer is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's my seven Numicon. Move it down so that you can see. And again, I can see that we've got to have three at the beginning. Three is a funny shape, so I'm going to put that at the top of my Numicon, my Numicon 7. There we go. So I have added on my 3. What number is missing? 3 add what makes 7? Can you work it out before I show you? 1, 2, 3, 4. Can you think what a 4 Numicon looks like? There we go. It is the light green colour. So there I've got three add four makes seven. Again, you can draw the shape and colour it in or you can choose to write the number, whichever you want. We also have another similar Numicon sheet. This is again the missing number. The answer is always ten. Here's my 10 Numicon. It's a bit tricky. I'm going to have to put it over that 10 so that you can see because it's a lot bigger. I knew that was a 10, but if you're not sure, you can count to see if it does make 10. Now, the first one is a 1. I've got my 1 here. There's my 1. What number is missing to match up? To make the number bond for 10. Can you think? I'll give you some thinking time while I find my number. Here we go. Number 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well done if you managed to work that out. 1 add 9 makes 10. Again you can draw it or write it. This is quite a big shape though. You might struggle to fit it into that box. You might be better writing, but I'll leave it up to you. I'll do one more. We have got three Numicon. Add something makes 10. Our answer is always 10 for this one. Here's my three Numicon. One, two, three. Looks a bit different from how it is on the sheet, but that's okay. And you can use your Numicon at home, remember, to help you. Hmm, I wonder what number is missing. Three add what makes 10? We've been doing some work on number bonds lately. Do you know the answer really quickly? Let's count and check. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Well done. Again, you can either draw the shape or you can write the number. Good luck. Finally, we have given you a double sheet to play. It's a board game. I don't know if you can see. It's got a start and a finish. So you're going to need counters. You're going to need to play with somebody in your family. And you'll also need a dice. We're going to follow the track all the way round till we get back to school. So here's our bus and here's the school. You have got to try and work out what the doubles are as you move round the board. I wonder if we can be really successful with this. Have a go. If you're not sure if you've got counters or dice, maybe you could borrow from another board game that you might have in your house. You don't even need to have counters. You could use anything just to make sure that you know you've got two items so that you can move around the board with somebody in your house. It might be if you've got different colours of pasta, you could use that. You might have cubes or Lego bricks, anything you want, but you will need a dice so you know how many spaces to move. We hope you have fun playing this game. It's really good to help us with our doubles. You just need to know the answers. So I hope you've been practicing. And remember, you can also try hit the button for doubles now as well. We've been doing it for number bonds, but you can practice that for doubles. Have lots of fun.